hi nail lovers and welcome back to my channel and to another video and this is our last in the easy flow colored and J uh, glitter collection this one is called the pastel flower power collection um, and there is three six nine 11 in this one so i will do quick swatches with this like i had done with the others if you want to see any of the others i'll link some up above in the corner here and um, my favorite is definitely that solid glitter boogie nights so far however i do love some pastel colors and um, as before i have put on my purple gloves just to stop any contact dermatitis flaring up because those of you that are following me a long time know that the acrylic li liquids are just a killer for me and if you're new to my channel welcome thank you please click that subscribe button and the bell so let's jump straight into it so our first color is sweet pea and i'm going to take it that this is a greeny color and um, it does look like a really pastel green now the flare on the camera light is a bit bad but i'm actually filming this and um, before it's bright out so unfortunately i cannot take that light off but it looks like a lemony green I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the camera but it has like tiny green flecks in it and it is a lovely light pastel green color so next we are moving on to a color called morning glory and this is a pastel periwinkle blue So far I'm loving these pastel colours, they're creamy and pigmented. This one is called Geranium and I think it's a lavender type purple. And it most definitely is, wow. So next we have a colour called Wallflower and we are looking at a bright orange pastel. Okay, pastel and bright don't usually go together but this does look quite pigmented indeed. Now we're on to our next one which is called Water Lily. I'm expecting this to kind of be a white colour. Certainly looks white from the pot, and yeah. Yeah, it's like an off-white. Now we'll just move on to Portuna or Peruna. Portuna? I'm not good with flowers. And this one is very like the geranium. It's um, a lavendery pink. 
much lighter than the geranium actually. So next up we have Lily of the Valley. is a baby pink color. we will do daffodil which I'm taking is going to be a lemon and yes it's quite bright lemon lovely So we have next a colour called Pansy and this seems to be a bright coral pink. And we are nearly at the end now as well. This for me is not um, a, a pastel <laughs> colour, it's quite vibrant. And last but not least, we have a colour called Gladiolus. So I'm just gonna lightly buff all of them and um, apply a top coat and I will be back to show you the final colors. So here we have all our colors um, top coated and buffed. Now there was a slight bit of um, dust, uh, rising dust from just buffing alone. So I'd say if you were to build a full nail with these, they would be quite dusty indeed. You definitely need your extractor fan on to suck in that dust. But just to run through the colors quickly again. So we have Sweet Pea, which is that greeny color and has a kind of tiny darker green flecks in it. If I can, I don't think you can see them there at all, but they are definitely there. And then we have Morning Glory, Geranium and Wallflower. Sorry, I had to stop recording there. There was a bin truck coming, typical. We have Petunia, Water Lily, Lily of the Valley, Pansy, Daffodil, and Gladiolus. Now, I really like these. They are um, quite creamy, easy to apply. I'm definitely going to do maybe some acrylic color cutting with these. Um, so you can check that video, video out. Um, if I do it in the meantime, I will link it up there so you guys can see that one too. So if you like these um, guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. But until the next time, we'll see you later. Bye.